All right, so throughout my whole career, my clients have always called me heavy-handed, and I take that as a compliment because what I'm doing is moving with confidence. When you don't move with confidence, the client can feel it, and they automatically know something's not going right. So when you go into a new stylist, I tell people this all the time. Your gut is all you got. Trust your feeling. If they're not moving with confidence, they're probably not gonna do your hair well. So here's a few things you need to pay attention to when you go into a new salon. The first things first is having a receptionist. Yes, that lets everybody know that you're a professional. And your appointment is gonna get made. How about that? What about making sure that the salon has people in it? Like there are other customers besides you. That means they have a good reputation. Yeah, and you also wanna make sure they're selling products that they have retail. That way you know they care about you and they want to go along with you in your hair journey. Some good tips. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna use that. And here's some of my favorite hair tips. Number one, keep your ends trimmed every six to eight weeks. Split ends are a no-no. Number two, find your loved one or yourself to massage your scalp. The only thing that stimulates hair growth is blood circulation. And number three, you can never over-condition your hair. Conditioning is key. The only way you're gonna get your hair to look healthy, it doesn't even really have to be healthy, you just have to keep it moisturized. The more like juicy it looks, the more healthy it's going to look. So there's one myth that I've always wanted to set straight, and that is that it's not about how much you spend on your products. It's about the ingredients and the technology behind those ingredients. So find the product that works best for you. I wouldn't say this is something that I've learned, but I didn't realize how much people don't have clear communication in the salon. Like, what do you mean? Because why don't you tell somebody in the moment that you don't like your hair? I don't get it. Well, it's a kitchen beautician, and you know, I would be a little skeptical. You gotta kinda, you know, test the temperature. I was a kitchen beautician. Well. You could tell me. You're a little different. You like your hair. You're a little different. You want to know what I learned? What? Okay. Don't laugh at me. Don't I'm laugh. Not. Okay, you might laugh. I have never heard of a chemical cut. That makes sense. Why it's, does it make sense? Because it's more of a technical term. It's not something that they, you know, talk about all the time. You know, as a hairstylist, you know when you've chemically burned someone's hair. Yeah, but the chemicals can be used as like some super sharp shears. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah, it's true. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.